it is pack with me day i have not shared a packing video in a long time so i thought i would do that today so this weekend is memorial weekend i know you're watching this after the fact but we are traveling to my sister's house this weekend for a few nights and we've been social distancing since march 16th so we haven't been out and about. She's been doing the same thing. So we feel pretty confident that we'll be okay traveling to see them since they haven't been going places either. So I am going to pack and share with you what I'm packing for this weekend trip. So I'm standing in the office right now with my luggage and laundry. So there's my suitcase. We'll talk about that in just a minute. I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm taking this bag. I just have it sitting here because it's got my packing cubes in it. That is a medium utility tote from 31 Gifts. It's turned upside down so Bella does not get in and pee. Not kidding. <laughs> and then my clean laundry. So the common question for today is going to be, are you like me when you have laundry day? Like our laundry day was yesterday. I'm like, I'm not putting up my laundry because I'm going to pack from my laundry. Does anybody else do that? Do you pack your bags based on your clean laundry? So that is what we are going to do right now. So I'm going to take that to the bedroom. We're going to fold it, sort it, hang up everything that needs to be hung up that's not going with me. And then we are going to pack my packing cubes and my luggage. Now my luggage, I don't know if you have seen this. I don't think you have. So I told you guys after we took our Disney vacation that I did a horrible job with picking out luggage. If you've not seen those two videos, I will leave those in a card above. So what I did was I went and I purchased hard side luggage. So this is the 26 inch piece, I think it is. So this is the medium size piece. So this is what I am going to use for this weekend. And it is the Samsonite Omni luggage. I got it from Amazon, got the three piece set. I will link it in the description below. It will be an affiliate link. So everything is now laid out on the bed, folded and sorted and all that from that one laundry basket. So I've got everything sectioned out. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go from this stack and pull some stuff to sleep in, some panties, some socks, house shoes, a sweatshirt, and I'm going to put everything that I'm taking for the trip in one of these um, lug packing cubes so i've got the eagle creek packet cubes which you have seen but kate's using those so i am going to use these now these are called the cargo set and i will link them in the description below i got these from my mother-in-law for christmas so it's got one large one and then two medium sized ones so this is going to be the first time that i've used these on a trip so don't they just scream disney just love it so here is one awesome thing that I'm liking about the hard side luggage versus my soft side luggage. Now, I love my Travel Pro Max Lite 4 luggage, but it just, I still have it, but I needed something different. So this has two halves. So I love the fact that the entire suitcase can be used for storage instead of just one side. Packing cube number one is now put together and you guys these things hold so much look at this So I've got two different sets of socks. I have my sleeping socks, which came from my Disney advent calendar And then I have my Zella no-show socks So I will be doing a Nordstrom anniversary sale video I know some people won't be interested to see that but you guys I want to share a video on some of the things that are must purchase for me that i purchase every single year and these socks are definitely it i wear these every single day the only socks that i wear besides my advent calendar socks then i have panties tank tops my bra that i need to clasp 
clasp together and this is one of the anniversary sale bras i get a new one every single year it's notori and a sports bra so all of that is going to get zipped in here and i'm going to put that in my luggage so i'm going to sit that right there and it may go on this other side who knows until i get everything in here so cube number one is in here and now we're going to work on cube number two cube number two is now packed and we're going to call this my pajama cube <laughs> that sounds funny three t-shirts three pairs of leggings and a hoodie so all of that is going to fit into this one cube here and cube number two is now placed in my suitcase or luggage whatever you want to call it so here are my slippers these are my disney slippers that i got from walmart and you guys i guess they do not sell these slippers in summertime because i've been trying to get more of them i love house slippers and these were like five dollars but they don't have them right now so i guess i'm gonna have to stock up in the fall because look i wear them all day every day and then that's the first one that i put in here and look there's a lot of space up here so i'm probably going to put one of my zip up hoodies there i always take one of those so now we're going to get to the next order of business which is the last cube which is my everyday wear last cube is now ready we've got three pairs of pants and i will tell you i'm not wearing shorts quite yet so I'm just bringing pants for this trip. So I've got three pairs of pants. If you've not seen my closet clean out video and organization video, I will link that in a card above. During the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I'm definitely getting pants because I've had to get rid of a lot because of rips and all of that. So I've got three of those. Five t-shirts. If you're anything like me, you don't know what shirt you're going to want to wear on trips so i always overpack so i've got five t-shirts and then my pretty little monograms zip up hoodie i have a whole collection of these because i wear them all the time i actually have one on right now so all of these things are going in this one cube right here and to show you how much fits in this one cube i could actually fit all of this inside of this one cube three pairs of pants a hoodie and five t-shirts with plenty of room to spare so this is going in the luggage now all of the cubes are now put in my suitcase and i've got so much room look room here got all of this room over here room on top of that one so now what i'm going to do is pause the suitcase filling and i'm going to get like my medication ready and my toiletries and all of that and then i will check back in and share with you how that goes and then my other two bags new day same vlog so i left you guys yesterday with putting all of my clothing packing cubes in my suitcase so i'm back today we we're fixing to leave in about an hour so i get to do all of the rest of it so i can't use like deodorant and toothpaste and all of that and pack it until right before so that is what i'm going to share today but before i do that i want to show you what derek looks like right now He is sitting in a tub. <laughs> I have no idea what he is doing, but he is just sitting in his laundry tub, watching his dad pack his clothes. Must be the life. And look at Bella, loving life. And an updated look at my suitcase. So I've added the things in here that I don't need to share the inside. So I have my lug trolley here. I'm actually taking both of the original size lug trolleys, the polka dotted one, and then I have the purple hearts in the bathroom. I'm gonna share both of those with you. So I can't put those in the luggage until I share them. So that's why they are sitting out. I'm not taking my mini trolley because I'm not taking makeup this weekend. So let me share what is in here and then I will get to the cosmetics and my laptop bag and then we'll call it a day. First thing you see is my blow dryer. I always take my blow dryer, no matter if I'm going to families, vacation, it doesn't matter because I'm used to that blow dryer and I'm kind of particular about it. So I don't like to use anybody else's. Is anybody else like that? Do you like to have your own blow dryer? I just, I'm just used to it. 
my Erin Condren robe. I really wish you'd come back out with the robes. I love this one. I always take it with me. This is my feminine pouch, so it's got tampons and panty liners and pads in it. You saw this, and then here I always take my yeast infection kit every time. It does not matter where I go. I always have one because you never know when you're going to need it. Then I have a shower cap, and that is all for this side right now. Armani is messing up my filming. Every time I go to film, he does his little snorting. So here I am trying to do this the third time. This side, this is my flat iron in a Bagolini case. I've had this Bagolini case for probably eight years. So it just makes it to where the inside, if it's hot, it's not going to burn anything in your suitcase. So that's going to go in here. Then I've got, these are my Birkenstocks. They are in a Walmart bag, so the bottoms don't get anything dirty. Same thing over here, my Sanook flip-flops. I have those wrapped in a Walmart bag as well. So that is what is in the suitcase right now. So now let's get to the cosmetics. First cosmetic here, this is my Purple Hearts Lug Trolley. I've had this for probably two years. Love the lug trolleys. I will leave that in the description below. I'll link to those. So over here, I've got cotton rounds and Q-tips. On this other side, I have got bobby pins, barrettes, and hair ties. This front pouch here, I have my razor, extra contacts, and dental floss sticks. And then inside is just randomness. My Pond's cold cream, some ibuprofen, some hair claws or clippies, whatever you want to call them. I've got toothpaste, um, my toothbrush with a cap on it, nose spray, Vicks, deodorant, chapstick, and this, which is awesome. This chapstick, total hydration. This stuff is really great if you've got really chapped lips. This is a, an exfoliating scrub, conditioning lip scrub for your lips, and it works great. I love this stuff. And then I've got my eye cream, my Neutrogena eye cream in here. So that is what is in my first trolley. And the left side is fully packed, so I can take this mesh part and zip it around, and it's good. And now we're going to move to my second trolley, and it will fit right here. Bella's not happy with my filming, I don't think. She looks agitated. Look at her tail. So this one's ready to go in. So I've got cough drops and both of my medication. I have my morning medication and my evening medication. You'll see my lunchtime medication in a minute. It's in my laptop bag. I've got the activated charcoal just in case I get glutened. My hairbrush, my glasses, my Thayer's Witch Hazel. I've got two things of washi tape in here because I'm taping up my face soap and my contact solution so that it won't get messed up. So there are other uses for washi tape, not just for planners. So that is what is going in here. So I'm going to put that in my suitcase. My lug trolley is now in the right side of my suitcase and my suitcase is ready to go. Just have to strap this right side, close it up, zip it up, and move it to the kitchen. And I think Bella is realizing we are leaving. So now she's got her back turned to me and she's not even looking at me. So in the front seat, I will have my neck pillow. I will leave this neck pillow. I got it. My mom got it for me for Christmas two years ago from Amazon, and it has, the, if you can hear it, it has earplugs in there too. I love this. I take it anytime we take any type of trips. And then over here, I've got a pillow and a blanket. Always travel with this blanket. Always travel with my body pillow, unless I'm flying, which I don't do very often. So pillow, blanket, and my neck pillow. And now we are in the office for my laptop bag. Now this is the same laptop bag I've had for about three, four years. It's the North Face Reckon backpack. So anytime I take my laptop, I take this backpack. And that's where that keychain went. Nathan told me my BB Brook um, 
Minnie Mouse keychain fell off of a bag and I didn't even check and that's where it came off of. So I'm gonna have to get that. So this is my laptop bag. I don't carry it every day because it is complex and there's a lot to it. So when I travel with my laptop, I usually don't take a purse. So you're not gonna see a purse today. It has an amazing cushion in the back for your laptop. And this fits a large laptop. I wanna say this is a 15 inch laptop. It's pretty big and it fits perfectly. Okay, this compartment here, this is the main compartment. This is the smaller zip compartment. I have my lunchtime meds. And the reason why it's in here is because like right now, it's about 1230. We haven't eaten anything for lunch yet. So when I eat, I will take my medicine. I do not take this on an empty stomach because the iron pills make me very nauseated and almost like I could pass out. So I have to eat a good amount of food before I take my lunchtime meds. Then my Lug Tandem wallet. So this is my wallet wristlet. Love this. It's RFID shielded. So this is basically all I'm taking that's considered a purse this weekend. I have got my budget planner. I have my checkbook register. I have my content planner. I've got an extra notebook. And then I have, you're probably wondering, oh man, you're probably wondering where my planner is. Here it is, I was using it. So it's going in last. So here is my planner. And if you wonder, this planner cover is a digital download in my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is always linked in the description below. So that's gonna go in the main compartment here. And then this came from my everyday backpack. This is my basic backpack pouch. I will be sharing in a few weeks a what's in my bag video. This pouch is pretty big too. It's got wipes in it. It's got pens and my whiteout runner, a highlighter, some notepads, sticky notepads, I guess you would say, in case I need to jot down any type of notes. And then these pens here will go in here. So my Paper Mate Ink Joy, my favorite. And I got some Pilot G2s that I think are my husband's. And then my Mild Liner Highlighter. So all of that goes in this pouch here. And this pouch is going to go right in here. And my laptop bag is ready to go to the truck. It is very heavy which is why I don't carry it every day. It is a heavy backpack even without anything in it. So with the laptop and all my cords and planners, it is heavy, but it's just going to the truck and then to my sisters and then back home. And I almost forgot this last bag. So I always take water with me, I just do. And then I'll have probably a cup of ice water that I will take. So I always like to have it so, cause here's the thing, I don't drink Nestle water. So if I'm somewhere and they have Nestle water, I'm not gonna drink it. It makes my stomach very upset. So gluten-free flour, my sister's going to make cookies this weekend and they could not find any gluten-free flour at the store. So I'm bringing some. My breakfast bars, I take my breakfast bars anywhere I go because nine times out of 10, I can't eat breakfast at places, how anybody's home or anything. Um, I found these at the grocery store, Kind Nut Butter Filled Snack Bars. They're really good. Chocolate peanut butter, so that's a little snack. Extra Walmart bags for trash. Face masks in case we need them. Then Armani's medicine, treats, and food. Armani gets to go this weekend. So that is the last bag for the trip. And now my luggage is ready, and my laptop bag is ready, and my pillow and blanket. So all of that is ready to go in the vehicle to take to my sisters for this weekend. And that is all for this pack with me video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything that I'm taking to my sisters this weekend, which I don't feel is a lot, especially since I'm not taking makeup. I feel like I was able to fit everything in one suitcase. We can't go anywhere with the social distancing. So we're just gonna be at her house relaxing, which is going to be nice to get out of the house for a little bit. Any 
anything that I've mentioned today that is available, I will leave links in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. So the common question for today is going to be, are you going on vacation this summer? I know with the social distancing and all of the CDC guidelines, a lot of people have had to cancel their vacations. So let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, Bye, you guys.